Hello, Dr. Evan here again. Uh, in this video today, I am going to go over another very common finding on brain MRIs. Uh, and this is the finding of cerebral atrophy or aging of the brain. Just like everything else in our body, our brains do unfortunately age uh, as, as we do. Uh, and those findings can be seen um, on CT and MRI, in particular MRI. As always, uh, please feel free to comment or subscribe below. And if you would ever like a video done of your own MRI that explains your own MRI findings, please reach out to us at Medifini and we'd be happy to do that. Okay, so let's talk about aging or atrophy of the brain. Uh, here I have a 3D model of the brain and over here I have this colorful artistic drawing. And I wanna use it to illustrate something before we talk about the actual aging uh, or atrophy of the brain itself. So the first thing is the brain itself is divided into different lobes. So we have the cerebrum or the cerebral cortex of the brain, uh, which is labeled here in these green, blue, red, purple, and yellow colors. This is the cerebellum. This is the brainstem. So over here on this uh, 3D model, this is the cerebral cortex here, and this is the part of the brain that we basically do all of our thinking and it provides us with all of the high level uh, skills that humans have. So you can see here using this nice color coded picture, this is a slice of the brain basically through the middle. So if you slice through here and then looked at it from the side, um, the frontal lobes here in the red, so these are up here, the frontal lobes like this, parietal lobes are back here, Temporal lobes are here over by the ears, and then occipital lobes are in the back, back here in the green. So occipital, parietal, frontal, and temporal. Uh, and then we can see the brainstem here, the cerebellum is, is not in this model. So I wanna show this because the brain, as we age, can shrink or atrophy over time, and it can do so in really two different ways. One is, where the whole brain basically slowly shrinks over time and that's considered normal aging. And the second way, uh, which I won't go into too detail about in this particular video, um, is where parts of the brain can age more rapidly than others. And that is part of the neurodegenerative process, uh, the most common of which is, is Alzheimer's, but there are many others. And uh, in those diseases, the frontal lobes or the parietal lobes or the temporal lobes, for example, may uh, atrophy or become smaller uh, in a greater amount in relation to the rest of the brain. So, but in this particular video, I'm just going to show uh, basically generalized uh, atrophy, which is mentioned in most radiology reports as no mild, moderate, or severe generalized cortical volume loss or atrophy. So just to show some correlation between this drawing here and a brain MRI, you can see that it matches up pretty well. When you look at a brain MRI from the side, right in the middle, um, we can see these different lobes. So you can see right here, this would be the red, this would be the blue back here, this would be the green, and then we can't really see the temporal lobe, but it's off to the side here and this is the cerebellum, for example. Um, so we can see the brain very well on MRI. Okay, so what I wanna do is show a normal brain over here. So this is in an axial view, this is a cross-sectional view, where this is actually the, the face or the front, and this is the right side. Uh, so these are those frontal lobes here. So they go to about this area here uh, on both sides. So the frontal lobes, these are parietal lobes back here, if you remember. Uh, and then the temporal lobes here and occipital lobes back here. The distinction between these is, is not that important for this particular video, but what I wanna show is that you can see the cortex is robust here. It's, it's basically filling the entire skull. So the skull is this black, um, this black circle here uh, is basically bone. And you can see there's white in between uh, the brain parenchyma here and that white is the cerebrospinal fluid that the brain sits in. Um, the brain does look different on different types of MRI sequences, but this one is a T2 sequence that uh, puts the fluid bright and, um, and that allows us to see the brain very well uh, on the white background. Uh, we do have another video on our page that shows you how to look at an MRI and does discuss this a little bit. Um, 
But anyway, so this on the other side of the screen is actually a brain that looks somewhat similar, but it's starting to have a little bit of atrophy. So I wanna show here, you can see this area here, there's a little more white um, in this area here. And uh, you can see how it's, basically the brain is almost touching here, but you can see this kind of crevice here. This is uh, actually called the sylvian fissure. It's a large CSF space um, that goes between the temporal lobe um, and the frontal lobe and sort of the deeper part of the brain here. Uh, which is the insular cortex. Um, so anyway, so you can see on this one, there's a little bit more of the white fluid. Um, and so as we go up even more, you can see also these gyri here of the cortex. That's what these sort of finger-like projections are called. They're kind of touching each other. There's not a lot of white in between them. Uh, those are the sulci. Um, and you can see here, we can see those sulci a little bit better. So this is a brain that has some mild atrophy. So it's starting to overall shrink in size due to aging. And you can see even here in the middle, these are the ventricles where their fluid collects in the middle part of the brain. It's actually made uh, here in the middle. Um, you see they're bigger too, which implies that there's been some brain volume loss here centrally as well. So overall, this brain has some mild uh, generalized volume loss. So if you see that on a report, that's kind of what they're talking about is that basically the brain itself, just like everything else in our body, will age and slowly decrease in size over time. Okay, so now what I want to do is contrast a normal brain with a brain that has some more severe atrophy. So as I said before, um, radiologists typically will say whether a brain has no atrophy, mild, moderate, severe, and sometimes we'll say whether you know one lobe is more atrophied than another. They'll say something like frontal predominant or frontoparietal, meaning both the frontal and parietal lobes are predominantly the ones affected. But for the most part, our brains will age in a somewhat general way. Um, very rarely, uh, they may mention central versus peripheral volume loss. So central meaning losing volume here in the middle, as I showed before with these ventricles getting larger. And you can see that again here on this example, uh, or peripheral, meaning that the cortex itself is, has lost volume. And uh, on this example, we'll see, you know, there's a lot of volume loss in this one. Um, so sometimes you will see that in a report as well, and that can sometimes have different uh, effects um, as far as symptoms and uh, clinical syndromes as well. In any case, this is a normal, and this brain has uh, severe volume loss. So you can see here there's very little brain parenchyma that's left here. This person happens to be elderly and um, you know this is basically what happens when we uh, become very old over time and our brains will shrink in size. So you can see there's a lot of fluid around the brain parenchyma. These gyri up at the top are you know very uh, small as compared to here and there's just a lot of volume loss um, associated with that. You can imagine in old age when you see uh, elderly people that are more slow to think or remember things or any of the things we associate with aging, uh, you can remember this uh, brain picture here and see the difference between uh, you know, a 30-year-old brain and, and a 90-year-old brain essentially. Uh, now that being said, not all 30-year-old brains look like this and not all 90-year-old brains look like this. There are many factors uh, that, in, that are involved in the aging process of the brain, just like the rest of our body. And that can be genetics or things that we ingest, such as alcohol, things that we do, such as smoking, things that we have, such as diabetes or blood, high blood pressure. All of those things will factor into aging the brain just as they age other parts of the body. So I hope that this video was helpful in explaining to you what cerebral atrophy or brain atrophy is and uh, why it's mentioned on most brain MRIs.